tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This, feel, this felt like an eventuality, Tyson on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much. He loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast, he was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to the wrestling like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the octagon. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Any damage. Shades of James. Oh, and there is a and maybe 
trying to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Hit me. Now he has to find some more strike to end the night. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Shot being landed back and forth. Oh, big left hand. Strew swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. It's not there. Just over two minutes now to go. Good punch, man. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to... Oh! Oh, oh, my goodness. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop in this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh.